In this part of the DVD, you select in a moment is on the part one to part eight. This is the first part of the Chen style Tai Chi form. On this particular part, few things I need to remind you so you can understand. First thing is, it's very important that you do the basic exercise first. When you got the basic exercise, then it becomes simple and easier for you to when you came in here to do this. Otherwise, you will find difficult to move your body around. And second important thing is you need to remember is where you start on the first part when you finish on the last part is part A will be facing the same position again and same spot and that's important. Now, if you're ready and get comfortable, let's begin. Fit like that, nice and relaxed. Nicely bring your feet out in the shoulder whip height. From this position, lower your leg down and raise your hand nicely up. Don't try to over with the hand too high, shoulder high. Nicely coming down. When you're coming down, make sure you turn your palm nicely coming down. When you've done that, halfway, turn your hand in like this and then come in like you're doing for the job on here. And like you're holding the ball inside you here. When you're in this position, turn this hand over like this and then change your leg, your hand on this side. When you're changing your hand on this particular side, make sure that your back is straight and your body in remain in the center. When you've done this, you repeat on this side, the same on this side, and your body turn together. Okay? When you're doing this particular movement here, your hand is here, make sure it is on the shoulder height. Lift the toe point upward on this so they can walk move forward and make sure that hand is remaining in the same place. From here, forward, and then bring the other feet in to where the feet is. From here, on this position, make sure this hand turn and come out like that. And the feet coming out. So the feet out like this, the weight is on the back leg. This hand from here come up, and then you're in that position like that. When you're in that position, this hand in the back here, come forward, okay? So from here, come forward, and the hand will back in this position. Now, when you come forward, make sure there is no weight in front here. Hand into here, lift the fist up and hit to the palm. One, bring the feet up and like hand down up. Okay? When you're in that position, sometimes you're getting too close when you come into here, so the hand must be here. When you're in that position here, if you're too close, your feet, you can put the feet out this way slightly to create some more room so you can wire your leg out. So while you're here, this hand come forward and then feet coming out so you create some more room on your leg. Hand like that. Now when you get in this position, make sure the hand is into the eye, okay, line, balancing your body, not too high and not too low. The other palm, make sure into your belly button down here. And make sure your back is straight when you're in that position here and comfortable. When you're in that position, this hand coming down to here and this hand turn. When you turn yourself in this position here, this hand over here turn over and then this hand come forward like this and the back of the hand and this palm here will hit into your form like this and your leg will be remain in this position, hand here. When you get yourself in that position here, this hand come forward like this and lift your feet up. And then down, and then back like this, twist. Now when you're in this position here, make sure there's no weight there as well, and your arm, your hand in the right places like this, okay? When you're in this places, turn your body over here, okay? And then from the shoulder, push. When you're pushing down here in the shoulder, make sure the leg is out properly. Fit the point this way, and then hand in that right places like this. Okay, palm down here, back straight. From here, turn your hand over, back, and then out. So you're here. When you've done that, this feet coming inside here, out like that. Bring the weight of the leg coming here, and then transfer the weight back into here, and then lift it up and then back into here. And that's where we're gonna leave you on this particular exercise. Now when you're in this particular movement here, make sure your leg and hand, and look where your palm is, yeah? Palm out, and here. Bring your hand into here. 
and then down. Now, when you start to practice with this particular form, don't need to rush. Try to do as much as you can, and then spend some more time to get the quality of the movement up a little bit. If it's not doing the movement right and your feet is not strong enough, you will find very difficult to apply them into the application. So make sure the foundation you do is got to be done properly a little bit. Okay? Now if you are start to understanding the basic now, let me show you here how exactly it's done in normal speed. So when you start to practice, you can see the idea how it come out, will be look like. I recommend on this part, watch me how I do them first, so you can see how you do them later. Now when you start to, same thing, fit out like this, nicely coming out. And remember, what you need to be fast, you need to be fast. And when you need to be slow, you need to be slow. So nicely and slow, and then turn. Make sure your whole body move together. Don't stop and start at any time. Turn your hand across here, and forward. And then come forward, hand up, and then down. Down here, twist your arm, and then back this way, and then come over. Twist your body, and then twist your hand, and down. Hand coming in, back into here, hand out, and here, and transfer the weight back, and then come this way. Nice and easy. Try to practice as much as you can and try to do it properly. Make sure not to rush. When you start to rush it, you will have a problem. Okay? I will be here 24-7 trying to help you through it. So take your time. I will see you on the next lesson.